One eyebrow clan. I think that's what I'll refer to you guys as. I'm getting creative. Not really, but you know. Okay, guys, what we're going to do today is I'm going to... I didn't look up any tutorials. I just know what I've seen from videos of people doing this. I'm going to try to glue down my eyebrows today, which little I have with the only one. Um, but I'm using stuff that I've seen used in other people's videos. I haven't looked up any tutorials on this. I've just watched tutorials where people have done this, um, not recently. But I'm going to use um, Elmer's Washable School Glue, uh, the Papa Wine Cats <laughs> Colors. And um, I don't have a translucent powder, loose powder, or anything. So I'm, just not. so I'm going to be using this Pro Contour Pro Fusion Palette and be using like the lighter shade, the shade that matches my skin tone more to do that. And then I'm going to be using foundation. And hey, if this is successful, then uh, this can be a tutorial. But if it's not, then come fail along with me then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I forgot my beauty blender. Let me go rub that. Okay, now I think I should have everything I need. Um, so if you don't know, the reason for gluing down brows and, like, concealing them, hiding them, is so that you can draw new brows in a new place. Um, and it's more for very creative artsy looks or, like, drag queen looks. Um, so that's what I'm going to do today is try to, like, I'm going, not drag queen looks, but that would be cool. I'm going to try to, first of all, glue down my brows, make sure that's all down, and then I want to see if I can make my eyebrows maybe, like, higher or something like that, but... Every time I do my eyebrows, they're always uneven, and, like, they both look good individually on their own, but they don't match each other. And so, I know they say sisters, not twins, but aim for twins is the whole thing about it, so. I'm going to be aiming for twins today. So, the first thing you're going to use is the glue. Um, and I have already moisturized my face because... It needs it because acne, 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 acne. This is what happens when you decide, oh, I'm way too tired to do anything tonight to take off my makeup because I'm sick. So I'll just leave it on. This is what happens to me. Pimples everywhere. And a massive one right here. And it's starting to heal. That's ugh. Anyhow, before I go off on 20 more tangents, take your glue. I'm just like, so wobbly right now. Oh, uh, it's a quaking. Oh, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna glue my eyebrows. You're gonna want to go in the direction of which the hairs go, so it doesn't like pop out or anything. Okay, so far so good, guys. Okay, and I'm doing it up here a little bit too because. Even though that's not where my main eyebrow hairs are, that's where some of the eyebrow hairs that I just can't pluck yet because they're not long enough for me to be able to grab with my cheap ass scissors. Or not scissors, tweezers. Um, and pardon my language. Okay. There we go. Getting it done, son. Okay, there we go. Now. My eyebrows feel really crunchy, I guess. Now, to the powder part. So I'm using this brush by BH Cosmetics. Pretty sure it's a contour brush, but it's a big fluffy brush. I want something fluffier because this powder is not loose. So I'm going to break it up a little bit with the end of this little brush in an area and then just like tap it off. Breaking it up a little bit, just just in a little area, not too much. Oh, there we go. I just want some of it kind of loose so that I can apply it a lot easier. Okay, so. I don't want to get too much on because I don't want to have too much fallout. But I definitely want these puppies covered to the nines in this powder. I'm getting this all over my sheet. 
bad choice to record on my bed, but at the same time, what other choice did I have? <laughs> Everywhere else, but bad lighting. Oh my gosh. Okay, so far, not bad. I should be able to cover this up pretty well with my foundation, but we will see. I want to see how gone we can get them. I think we're going to do some color correcting too, because I don't think these will truly be hidden unless we do some of that. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I don't remember exactly what color it is to cover up hairs that they use, but I know it's not green because that's for redness. So I'm going to use yellow and the like lavender one. This is the yellow one, if you can see that. See, it's like a really pale yellow. And here's the pale lavender one. Um, yeah, we... I got this at a Forever 21, I believe. So it's a lot cheaper, kind of a one. But it's worked for me pretty well. Um, it's just not, like, super pricey because I can afford that. So I'll be right back. Okay, I got the yellow on. Now what you're just going to do with these, because these are like cream sticks, is you're going to blend it out with your beauty blender. And see if this actually works, because it might not with the powder. It's kind of being stubborn. Okay, I'm going to try to, because this is not very well blended, but I'm going to try to, because my eyebrow is covered, I am going to try to go in with my foundation, see if I can make it look gone and not there at all. So... Um, that's not working. It's still kind of there. This is pissing me off. So maybe I shouldn't have used the powder. Oh, yeah. Um, I guess it's a come fail along with me then. <coughs> Sorry, still sick. Oh god. Yeah, this is good thing this is washable. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you guys how it should blend out. Um not this color. I'm gonna take the yellow under my eye. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. And with mostly padding but some light Draggy motions. That's how it should blend out. The difference. But this does not want to blend out because it's on top of the glue and the powder. And it's just not cooperating at all. And it's not sticking to the hairs at all. So it's probably because my products are cheap. So one, it's either because my products are really cheap and hand me downs and things that are like, eh. or two, it's because I am doing it very wrong. And it's probably a combination of both of those. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching and um, watching me fail horribly. I will see you all in the next video. Or maybe none of you in the next video because you've decided this is too cringy to watch anymore and you're just done. Or maybe you're going to watch it anyhow because of the cringe and because you love cringy so much. I'm done. I'm sorry. See you all in the next video. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.